Welcome to the MathsCenter.com. In today's video, we are going to look at a further maths problem, CIE, uh, the Cambridge exams, that is. And uh, the subject code is 9231. Uh, the paper is paper 2. Uh, I've taken this example from the specimen paper 2020 just to have a discussion on uh, the techniques involved in uh, solving uh, this differential equation. Okay, uh, before that, uh, please share this video as much as you can. Give me a like and uh, follow me on Facebook and YouTube for details of the courses that we offer online. Uh, please visit my website, thebadcenter.com. Okay, this question here, uh, pretty, uh, I would think is not difficult. This is this was number one, I think, on the specimen paper. Find the general solution of the differential equation. Um, let me write it here, b2x dt squared plus 4 dx dt plus 4x equals to 7 minus 2t squared. Six points. So first off, uh, first we have to determine the complementary function. Okay, the complementary function. So for that, let's use that famous uh, m equation. Yeah. So we have uh, m squared plus 4m plus 4 equal to 0. Okay. Uh, some books call this the characteristic equation. And then this one we know is uh, m plus 2 open squared equal to 0. Okay. Therefore, your m equals to minus 2. Okay. Let me write that again. m equals to minus 2. Uh, if you want, you can write minus 2, minus 2, but just leave it as minus 2, yeah? So, let me write my complementary function here. My complementary function, because this is a repeated root, I repeat. This is a repeated root, so it will be a t plus b e to the power minus 2t, okay? That's the thing that we learn in our, from, in our classes, from the textbook and so on, okay? So, uh, I repeat, we are dealing with a repeated root, therefore, this is my complementary function, a t plus b in the equations, e to the power minus 2t. Once we're done with that, we need to work out our particular integral, okay? Particular integral. So, uh, let me write it here. For the particular integral, we are looking at the right-hand side of the equation. So, we see that the right-hand side, it is a, a quadratic. So, let's go ahead and write uh, x equals to uh, at squared plus bt plus c. That's the particular integral we are choosing, okay? If you like, you can write pi if you like. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, uh, we're choosing a quadratic because of the fact that the right hand side is a quadratic function. So from here we know dx dt. Okay, two a t plus b, uh, and uh, d two x dt squared will be what two a. Quickly check a t squared plus b t plus c dx dt is two a t plus b. And d two x d t squared will be uh, just two a. Okay, great. So now let's go ahead and plug in. I have two a, okay, plus four d x d t two a t plus b, okay, uh, plus uh, four x a t squared plus b t plus c, and that will be identical to seven minus two t squared. Okay. So let me just check 2a plus 4 dx dt, great, and then I have 4x, cool. So let's solve for a, b, and c. Uh, let's deal with uh, the, uh, maybe let's look at the, the term in t squared, yeah? So t squared, uh, I have got, uh, let me see, I've got 4a here on the left hand side, and that will be equals to, uh, minus 2, therefore my a will be equals to minus half, okay? This is, uh, I'm looking at the coefficient of t squared. The first t squared term is here, so I have 4a t squared, so I'm looking at the coefficient is 4a, and then t squared on the right hand side is just negative 2, the coefficient equating, I get a is minus half. Cool. Then let's look at coefficient of t. Coefficient of t here will be, let me get my pen right, I have 8a, Okay, and then I've got plus 4b, yeah? 4b, uh, that'll be equals to 
zero. Okay. I'm looking at the coefficient of t on the left hand side. It'll be eight a here. Anything else here? Plus four b. That's it. Okay. And that'll be equal to zero. There are no t terms here. So I know a is a minus half. Eight times minus half plus four b equal to zero. Therefore, four b equals to four and b equals to one. Let me write the, the values here. Right. A equals to uh, minus half. Uh, let me quickly check that. Minus 4, good. B is 1. Uh, let me go ahead and settle the last term. Okay. I need to look at the constant term. The constant term, okay, on the left-hand side, what do I have? I have 2A uh, plus 4B plus 4C. Okay. 2A, that 4 times B, that 4 times C, and that will be equals to? 7. 2a, 2 times minus a half, 4b, 4 times 1, plus 4c, equals to 7. Let's see. I have a minus 1 plus 4 is 3. I bring it across. I have 4c equals to 4, c equals to 1. Let me quickly check. Minus 1 plus 4 is 3. Bring it this side, I get 4c is 1. So c is 1. So now I have my particular integral. Yeah, I have a particular integral. I have uh, x pi will be equals to minus half t squared uh, plus t plus 1. Therefore, my general solution, that's what they want. My general solution will be my particular complementary function plus my particular integral. So I'll have uh, a t plus b e to the power of minus 2t uh, minus half t squared plus t plus 1. Good. And we are done. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Please share this video as much as you can. Uh, your exam is coming out on Monday. Uh, give me a like and follow me on Facebook and YouTube. And thank you very much for watching.